We watched A A and E biography Stone Cold Steve Austin. God, Vinny's on the payroll. Throw out an AEW there. Is that what I said? Yeah. I know I mumbled. Yeah. <laughs> you mumbled AEW. Well, Steve Austin were... documentary. Well, Free I mean, plug. we all are since you're getting paid by them, right? You know, I just saw this Missy Hyatt tweet here. She says, I'm watching the Steve Austin documentary. I've yes. seen many people in the indies that were nice to me. The second they got a taste of the big time, they would blow me off if we ran into each other. Steve was always super cool with me from his first WCW appearance. So, <sighs> every now and then, we'll have some discussion about WWE, and I will make the statement, well, you know, if it was the Vince of the 90s, it would be a thing. But it's the Vince of the 90s. It's the Vince of today who has no idea what he was doing. You watch this fucking show, and mm -hmm. like, I could never write a book about Vince McMahon, because... I cannot figure this fucking guy out. <laughs> clearly, clearly, he was he was clearly great in the eighties. He was clearly great for for a fair amount of the nineties. Mostly like ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, and then, you know, it starts to kind of fall off two thousand two thousand and one, it's like off the rails and it's never any good after that. But you watch this fucking documentary as they're talking about they they signed Stone Cold Steve Austin. Vince says, you're going to be the ringmaster. And Steve Austin's like, what a fucking stupid gimmick. <laughs> he, he said, they it go sounded to, like shit, but I needed the money. <laughs> yeah, they go to Bruce Pritchard, who's like, what a dumb gimmick. And then they pretty much admit that, like, Vince couldn't figure out what to do with Steve yes. Austin. Yeah, so Eric And it's like, off how much of a fucking genius can this guy be? You couldn't... First off, you couldn't even come up with a good gimmick to start. You came up with the ring master. And then you give him some dumb fucking gimmick, which he could not ever get over in. And you watch and you're like, I can't figure out one thing to do with this guy. And then, of course, they bring up, he's also got the accent. Yes. This fucking accent. I'm like, God, fucking help me. You, Everyone knows the story, but to hear all of the people talking about it, yes. it's like, this is impossible. How did this company succeed? So Eric Bischoff fired him. Vince gave him a gimmick that sucked. He didn't get over the gimmick that sucked. Vince had clearly lost faith in him. And Vince is the one that he admits that Steve Austin was wasting his time. That's Vince McMahon's own words here. You gave him the gimmick that he's wasting your time with. It's your fucking fault, not Steve Austin's. You're the one that made him a fucking ring master. Oh, that's going to get over. That's the thing that baffled me because Jim said that he hired him on that promo and the realism of the promo. He somehow sold it to Vince McMahon and probably played him the promo. And then Vince takes this real honest person and gives him a stupid gimmick. Well, it gets stupider. Because Vince loses faith in Austin and tells him, if you got a better idea, go find one. That's fine. And Austin's career is hanging in the balance. And he goes home and he watches a, a TV movie or a documentary about a, a mob hitman who called himself the Iceman. And he gets the idea for doing a hitman cold killer, you know, I, I, ice water in his veins gimmick. And he tells them about this idea and they give him the list. And it's three pages of names. I only wrote down two. They're all, like, everybody who's on this documentary, the Mick Foley's and the Pritchard's and the Shane Michael McMahon's, Hayes, yes. they, they all are rattling off one or another stupid name. And I'm always amazed watching these because Pritchard is the guy who rolls his eyes at all the dumb angles. And I'm like, so are you flat out just admitting to the world that you just go along with every stupid idea that this guy comes up with, this Vince McMahon? Yes. Are you just sitting here admitting, I I am a yes man. He yes. has shitty idea. I say yes, Vince. Great idea. Yes. Because it seems that every time a stupid idea comes up, he tells us how stupid it is. Well, what the fuck's going on here? Nobody could say Vince. All of these names are fucking stupid. Chili McFreeze. Fang McFrost. Fang McFrost. Finally. Ice, ice Dagger. <laughs> ice Dagger. God. So then his wife is serving him a cup of tea. She's English. Tells him to finish his tea before it gets stone cold. The light bulb goes off, and everything else from there is him. He starts wearing black. He shaves his head. He gets a goatee. And he's Stone Cold Steve Austin is born. Lance is doing his 
online coaching service <laughs> as he reviews and critiques the Battle of the Empire. This match is reminiscent of Flair Steamboat. Unfortunately, it's Vic Steamboat and David yes. Flair. Oh, terrible. And then again, this is what threw me because that is not a particularly babyface thing to do. I wouldn't say we were both heels, but I, I could argue we were both unlikable. <laughs> <laughs> and to this day. Cardio and lack of interest is a big part. I think Orange Cassidy has told his gimmick from Vinny. Look at the cover of this DVD. It's one of my favorite photos of myself ever taken. And it is absolutely Orange Cassidy. You do look vocal. exactly like Orange Cassidy, just much yes. larger. Yes, and worse. Watch Vinny's head <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> bounce off the mat when he misses this elbow. Face the wrong way. Oh, <laughs> God. Putting your own how, move on How disgraceful you. to put the, the man behind figure four in a figure four. This was really well done here at the end, though. You hit this so dead perfect in the middle. Not that chop, though. No. No! You need the flailing? Because there needs to be energy to the spot because it's supposed to be fun. The crowd wants to be excited, so someone has to display energy, and it's not going to be the man in the ring. <laughs> oh, no, you. don't do that. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you fool! I got a little else to say. It's not very good. I miss chopping people. Wasn't the best match of all time. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you got five stars. Could probably take some lessons from Miz on how to work. Oh, get out of here. If you're out there listening and you would like Lance to uh, review one of your matches, much like he did to ours here, how do they do this, Lance? They can email me at swavirtualtraining at gmail.com. As I mentioned, the price is uh, 125 US for a single session, uh, 300 for three. So again, swavirtualtraining at gmail.com. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.